So welcome to La Capella and this is the V2 factory, the flying bomb. <laughs> we also have a planetarium but that's not what we're doing, right? No. Okay. And they also have a big replica space lander. Oh, we'll have a look at it yeah. on the way out. On the way out. And they have a cool dome as well. Cool. So that's the real thing, right? That's where they used to build V2 rockets. Yeah. To hit where? England. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Sam, do you know what's the most tragic thing about this place? What? All of the workers huh? were Jewish slaves. Look. It's a very, very tragic place. But in terms of science, this was like a breakthrough. Because all of the modern rockets and cruise missiles are either based on V1 or V2. Mm -hmm. So V1 provided the tech for all of the cruise missiles we've seen now. V2 was literally all of the tech behind man landing on the moon, first man in space. Sam, we're about to enter the bunker. The what? The bunker. Look. The factory, rather. This is the rail tunnel that the workers would have used to get into the factory. Whoa. <coughs> of course the rails are gone now. Yeah, let me see. You'd worry if Oh, Sam. Something about bats. I'm guessing the bats that lived in this cave. Hmm? Hmm? Freezing bats. <laughs> Seriously, freezing back. Yeah, Sam, there's some interesting stuff here. Audible? Audible. It's engine, some kind of an, what is it? Generator. Oh. Well, it's a generator. That's one, one of the generators producing energy, right? Whoa. Should we make them? Maybe we can go down. Yeah. Now we're going to take the lift upstairs. Can't hear you, sorry. 
<laughs> We're gonna take the lift upstairs <laughs> to the main museum. In the drive? Yeah. Let me. So where are we? Now we're in the main museum inside the dome. And what is that? Um, let's go check. <laughs> this is Hitler's secret weapons. Not so secret now, but yeah, this is essentially this is the main one. So this is the big boy, the V2. Down there is the V1 as well. Oh, there's a replica of the atomic bomb, so. <laughs> but this is why we came here, to see the V2 replica. Oh, there's an explanation here of stuff. Mm. How the rocket works. You can Google it too. Oh, there's a V1 down there too. Oh, nice. Is that that one there? Yeah. You know the English thing that was? What? Doodle bug. Ah. Yeah, no, trust me, they are um, all over like Londoners and all that. It fell on it. They gave it a nickname, Doodlebug. Yeah. So this V2 yeah, sound, it's, like it's like the... It's got like a tiny little propeller in front. Yeah, but the V2, look at, look at this big boy. Between, and they have a little read, right? So this yeah. is essentially the grandfather of all rockets. Every rocket that went to space or missiles can trace its origin to the V2, the Russians and the Americans. And the Indians. So basically what we they were talking about is the history of like how the A4 rocket, the V1 flying bomb and the... the A4 became V2, right? A A4 became V2 missile. And who was the mastermind of that, all of that? I can't remember his first name, but uh, Von Ver Braun. Von they're this guy. Werner Von Braun. Right. He learned so much of that him, right? Yeah. So he was a, what was he, he was a Nazi? He was a Nazi, but he did get American nationality. After the war? After the war. And what did he help the Americans do? He helped, he joined NASA and he helped the Americans, well, get people to the moon. Despite being a Nazi criminal? That's not very good, is it? Mm. But because the Americans wanted his brain, they forgave all of his crime, right? That's what we learned today? That's what we learned today. What did you learn then? What's the moral of the story? You can get away with anything as long as your opponent does you for you. Pretty much. Oh, this is terrible, right? Sam, and what is this? This is the V1. Sam, and who helped mass produce all these weapons? All of the detainees from concentration camps, right? Yeah, all of the European Jews. And Russian prisoners of war? Russian And well, French Soviet. prisoners of war? Well, prison. Right, look. You can argue this is the world's first kamikaze drone, right? And there, the big bun, V2.
What do you want to talk about the thing? So this is the guidance bit. Ever so slightly like major. So it just helps the thing to kind of guide itself just for yeah. diving, right? For diving and blowing up. So this, up here, is a life-size replica of Little Boy, which is the bomb that was dropped. Nuclear bomb, yeah. Oh, dropped over what? Karmuka. City of Hiroshima in Japan. We I thought that was um, Fat Man. Fat Man was Nagasaki. No. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was Nagasaki. Do you know who this guy is coming here? History. His yeah. name is Robert Oppenheimer. He's known as the father of nuclear weapons. Look, and this is the te the first ever nuclear test. It's called the Trinity bomb. And look, and down there you can see the damage done by Hiroshima bombing. But yeah, this is life size. This bomb. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This is the dome, this is where we are. Yeah. And then the, the bomb was then assembled vertically and then brought out. There's no buttons to make it move. Track. Yeah, they were everywhere, weren't they? They were everywhere because you lost them too easily. Oh, look, Sam. Sam, check this out. Smashed up fragment of the engine. Mm. Is it real? What are we looking at? Well, look at the evolution from our GoPro known black to. Well, from that to yeah, the GoPro. The reconnaissance camera, right? Yeah. So is it Royal Air Force or American? Is it an RAF one or an American one? And what was. Oh, RAF. It says RAF. Oh, that's ref. Reference using mm -hmm. Z. V2 was the father or grandfather of everything. Yeah. There's the V2. That looks super similar. That, I mean, so that it looks... Wait, wait, wait. It's the Mercury Redstone. So this was built as a... But this, R7, is a Russian name for it, if I can't pronounce. This... Oh, Yeah. Do you know what this is? Yeah. This is the world's first ICBM, Intercontinental Ballistic Missile. And this well, I mean, also, I say nice, they but... also use the converted version of this to do what? To send Sputnik, the first satellite, oh, yeah. and oh. a slightly modified version of this also sent Yuri Gagarin to space, the first man. And also yes, Laika, yes. the first dog. Who unfortunately died in space. Soyuz, right? so the Soyuz yeah. still takes people to space. So and you know we were talking about there you go, this is one brown with uh, we saw this in NASA didn't we? On she told the viewers to check out the NASA video. 100 <laughs> This is the Saturn, Saturn 5. 5. Look how massive it is compared to the Until recently it was the most powerful rocket ever built. Mm -hmm. Obviously now there is a new rocket being built. This is Ariane 6. It's hopefully launching. In this decade, actually. What's that? Ariane 6. Is it? Yeah. Ariane 6 new? Oh. I didn't know that. Here you go. So, this is... Yeah, let's, let's talk about that. Look at all these wonderful colour photos of a very modern factory 
operating, right? But yeah. The most happy brilliant. workers, right? Mm. Healthy workers. Okay. That was taken by the Nazis, right? In color. Yeah, Can that was taken by uh, Hitler's national photographer. Okay. And what do you see here? These, These horrible sketches. He was a curator of the museum and a French resistance guy, wasn't he? Yeah. When he came here as a prisoner. First, he, I think he was sent to Bergen Belsen and then somewhere else as well. Where else? Buchenwald. Yeah, after Buchenwald, he came here and he sketched all this to show the real horrors of life. Right? Yeah, but the so these are the hanging of Russian POWs. Yeah, Kept Very secret, right? These are the Russian period of the institute. And get some beautiful picture of someone. His body is being dumped. Terrible condition of work with Pandora. Piled, piled up corpses, right? Dying yeah, of like starvation. Starvation. Exhaustion. Horrible, horrible kind of living. Human beings just like us, right? Yeah. Maybe it's a victim. What do you think? All this stuff recovered from the prison as well. Is it, is it one of those with the, yeah, the POWs? Yeah. And yeah, like, uh, they also have for gypsy, for gay. Yeah, you're, you're, you're involved. That person is not involved. That person is also involved. Let's see if we can find a little of the colouring. Oh my god. Not too No, a description of the colouring. The colouring of what? Of the those systems. No, this they person don't. is a Christian. I looked at this with the camera and said that it's a rough and pretty. No, 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 I don't think it's a year number. It's very weird. Who made it? It's a citron. Yeah, what, why is this weird? What's with the tank? So, that. So basically, it has a gas generator because fuel supplies were low that burns coal to create gas. What? Really? Wow. 
Da musst du wieder neu gehen, schnell. Ja, diese Flyers. Resistance Handmade. flyers, yeah. Handmade. Handmade. And there's some equipment, resistance for writing stuff and distributing things, communicating. Nice. You know what this is? Beautiful. Oh? Yeah. You can do it. The Lancaster project. British mm -hmm. Lancaster project. Obviously that was a real mark in the other side. Now we've seen the uh, exhibition, now we're going to go through these further tunnels to go and see the launch site. Yeah. Where are the tunnels we came in from? On the other side. Oh. Whoa! Mm. This place is nuts. That the thing is reinforcing it. Well, Sam, look, his animation of how. Look. Hey, do you get to see the thing? No, but you're missing. Look. It's important. Four tons of ethanol. <coughs> See that dude is loading the ethanol. And now the rail's moving on again. What are they loading now? <coughs> Look, the armored door opened. And the rocket now comes outside. I wonder why I'm describing this. So obviously we can hear it on our headset. Pam, Pam. There you go. So the rocket has been put into one of the two launch pads. Control officer then presses the button. Press the button. Look. It fills up slowly and then suddenly accelerates 5,000 kilometers per hour. Shut them off. Okay, yeah, look. Then, there's the dome and these are the launch pads. Is that where we're heading? Can you hear yours? Really? It shows nice. I'm done. Look. Are you watching this? Dome. Where are you at? Assembly line. So we're at the beginning of the beginning. Alright, let's go. So, well, that ends it. And anyway, we've learned about, well, loads of great rockets. Basically, the backbone of rocket, the V2, or A4, and the V1, which is the flying bomb, up there. Yeah, and we learned about Von Braun, right? Von Braun. Into clever man with a very questionable path. Yeah. And 
Well, yeah. The good job is preserved, right? Then you can come yeah, back so and Yeah, so then we can come and learn, learn from it. And this so is they, the launch site was never built. Because oh. Those launch sites were never built in the end, were they? No. So the war ended by then. I think it was not very long until finishing, but obviously the Allies had landed in France by then. Eastern Front, they were getting hammered, right? And the railway Oops, grand where plans. the rockets... And this railway where the rockets... Grand, grand plans. Okay. Hi. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And ring the notification bell for more upcoming videos.